Good morning, everyone! Welcome to another episode of our home-based learning formats. Make sure to have your materials ready as we proceed for today's lesson. For today's lesson, we will be learning about Area and Perimeter Together, we will all learn to Understand the meaning of perimeter Find the perimeter of a figure by adding its sides And lastly, find the perimeters and areas of a given figure Let's get started! When your family puts up a new fence around your house, how will you know how much fencing is needed? For us to know how much fence is needed, we need to know the perimeter around the lot of your house. What is perimeter? Peri and mat simply means to go around, while meters means to measure. Putting it together, we say that perimeter means to find the measurement around. Try to draw a triangle on a piece of paper and trace the lines around it using your finger. The one that you are tracing is the perimeter of the triangle. Perimeter is the distance around the given figure. It can be measured in units such as centimeters or meters. Look at the given figure. The rectangle shown is made up of 1 cm squares. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? In what ways can we find the perimeter of the given figure? We can count the sides of the given figure to find its perimeter. Make sure to put a mark on each side of the figure so you won't miss out in counting. I want you to count along as the marks are being placed. The perimeter of the figure is 24 centimeters. What is the perimeter of the given figure? I'll give you 15 seconds to find out the answer. C Correct. The perimeter of the figure is 16 centimeters. We can find the perimeter of a given figure in different ways. If the length of each side is given in a figure, we simply add all the sides to find its perimeter. In this example, the length and the breadth of the rectangle is given. The rectangle has one pair of length and one pair of breadth. The length of the rectangle is 10 cm and the breadth is 5 cm. The perimeter of a figure is the total length around it. So let's add 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5 is equal to 30 cm. The perimeter of the figure is 30 cm. We can use two other methods to find the perimeter of the given rectangle. The rectangle has two longer sides and two shorter sides which are equal. We can first find the total length of one pair of the longer side and the shorter side. Then we multiply it by 2. So 10 plus 5 is equal to 15 and 15 times 2 would be 30 cm. Another way of getting the answer would be 2 times 10. 
That means you multiply the pair of the given length. The answer would be 20. And then, 2 times 5, which is, multiply the pair of the given breadth. And the answer would be 10. Add the given totals 20 plus 10. And you'll get 30 centimeters. Is it the same with the first answer? Yes. Which is easier and faster for you? Now, it's your turn. What do you think is the perimeter of the given figure? I'll give you 20 seconds. Correct. The perimeter of the square is 24 meters. Do not forget the unit, meter. A square is a figure with four equal sides. The perimeter can be found by adding all four sides together. We can also multiply one side of its length by four. So six times four is 24 meters. We can say that the perimeter of the square is 24 meters. Let's try another one. What is the perimeter of figure A? Try to follow the markings as you count. Perimeter can be measured in units such as centimeters and meters. The perimeter of the figure is 20 centimeters. What is the area of the given figure? You may put some markings inside the square units to help you out as you count. Area can be measured in units such as square centimeters and square meters. The area of the figure is 20 square centimeters. Let's keep going. Look at the given figure below. The figure being shown is made up of 1 meter squares. What is the perimeter of the given figure? The perimeter of the given figure is 12 meters. What is the area of the given figure? The area of the given figure is 9 square meters. Look into your pupil's book, page 144. Pause this video for a while as you try to answer the given items. Remember, to answer the given questions, Make sure to complete the given figures by drawing lines for your square units, like this example. Once you're done, check if your answers are correct. Let's check how much you have learned in this lesson. This time, I want you to do your online quiz in the BBS portal. That's it for me. I hope you understood everything very well. Till our next lesson, have a good day!